all of them walking forward at this point, and they're off. Shishkin ridden away from the start by Nico de Boinville, but is with the others as they race on towards the first of the 18 fencers. The Labrooks King George VI chase, Frodon on the outside of Alaho, and these are the first two. Hewick and then Brave Man's Game as they go over the first. Then towards the outside is the real Wacker, and on his inside is Shishkin as Frodon takes them now on towards the first of the open ditches. Frodon flew that ditch, clear by a couple of lengths to Alaho in second place. Shishkin already making ground now. He's now taken third through on the inside of Hewick and around the outside of Brave Man's Game, who has now been shuffled back to fifth position. The real Wacker is last of the six. Now they have a slightly longer run on towards the back straight and fence number three. And Briny Frost and the 2020 winner Frodon have got the lead over Alaho racing in second. Shishkin on his outside, Hewick wider still. Last year's winner, Brave Man's Game towards the inside. The real Wacker is the back marker as they go over the first of the four fences taken down the back straight. At the back of the field, the real Wacker jumped out slightly away to his left. Frodon takes them on towards fence number four. Frodon's lead was around about a length and a half. Shishkin spent a little bit of time in the air on the outside of Alaho and on the inner Brave Man's Game. And then out wide is Hewick and just the back marker, the real Wacker is the second of the open ditches and Frodon, as he did at the first stitch stood a mile off that jumped it really well and he leads by two lengths to Shishkin in a dispute of second on the outside of Alaho and they cross over fence six and again Frodon stood a long way off that landing a little steeply in fourth place was Brave Man's Game not a serious error so now on the turn as they go through the first third of the Labrooks King George VI chase and it's Frodon who leads the way. Shishkin creeping closer now. He's got to within three parts of length in second. A length and a half away, Alaho is in third. A further length and a half back to Brave Man's Game who's on the inside of the real Wacker who has now relegated Hewick to be last of the six. Into the home straight for the first time, fence number seven. Frodon comes to it, got in a little tight. Shishkin moving up on his outside, drifted out to his left, but he's now within a neck. Two lengths away, Alaho on the inside of Brave Man's Game, and then the real Wacker, and a couple of lengths back to Hewick. They go over fence number eight, and Frodon still has the lead. So coming up towards the pack stands and on towards fence nine, and halfway in the Labrooks King George, and it is Frodon who leads Shishkin in second. Alaho to the inside, jumps this one in third. Brave Man's Game, big and bold in fourth. Then towards the inside is the real Wacker, and ridden along just for a stride or two at the back of the field is Hewick. Not a lot between Frodon and Shishkin with a lap of the track ahead of them. Frodon hugs the rail, has a lead of an neck to the outside. Shishkin racing in second. Just over a length and a half away, Alaho made the turn in third. Out wide is Brave Man's Game in fourth. The real Wacker cuts to the inside and still being ridden away from the stable turn. Hewick, last of the six, and he's the first one who is seriously off the bit. They've gone through halfway, and Frodon establishes a clear lead once again. He goes on by a length to Shishkin in second as they approach fence number 10. Frodon at it, jumps it well. Shishkin over in second, two lengths away. Brave Man's Game sharing third with Alaho, and then the real Wacker. Another open ditch. Frodon comes to it, and again he saw a beautiful stride. Cleared it with a lead of three parts of length over Shishkin in second, but Shishkin on the flat is moving up once again now to contest the lead as they go into the turn. Frodon against the rail, Shishkin on his outside, and then just over a length back to Brave Man's Game on the outside of Alaho. Two lengths back to the real Wacker, and then a further two lengths to Hewick, who's been on and off the bit for the last half mile, and again he's off the bit, being ridden along by Gavin Sheehan. And down the back straight, on towards the seventh from home, and Frodon urged for more by Briny Frost. Shishkin still within the neck on his outside in second, slightly left-handed. Two lengths away to Alaho, and then Brave Man's Game. A further two and a half lengths back to the real Wacker, and now getting some way behind is Hewick. They go on now towards fence number 13, and it was Shishkin who jumped in to the lead. Shishkin went on and Brave Man's Game follows him to the outside. Frodon urged to do more against the inside and then Alaho and are ridden along the real Wacker. Final open ditch is the fifth from home and Shishkin jumps it with a lead of just over a length over Brave Man's Game, the reigning champion in second. Alaho for Ireland on the inside. Over the fourth from home, Shishkin by just over a length. Quick, 
economical in the air to Brave Man's Game in second. On the inside, Alaho shaken up for the first time by Paul Townend in third. There's a break now of five lengths back to the real whacker. Frodon has run his race. Hewick is trying to stay on. And now the field turns for home in the Labrox King George. And it's Shishkin and Nico de Boinville over Brave Man's Game and Harry Cobden in second. Alaho and Paul Townend in third. And then six lengths back to the real whacker and Hewick. The third from home. Shishkin's lead was a length over Brave Man's Game towards the near side. Then back in third is Alaho. Two more fences to take. Shishkin still has the lead as he comes towards two out. Shishkin by a length and a half. Brave man's game in second. Shishkin buckles on landing as a seat to Nico de Boinville. Hands the lead now to Alaho. And Alaho has gone on. He's handed the lead at the second last. Here is the final fence for Alaho. Alaho by a length and a half. Brave man's game and Hewick. Hewick is staying on down the wide outside and Hewick from last to first to win the King George. Hewick wins.